Good morning folks, it's just after 7am, uh, nearly starting the workshop, another lovely sunny day here in southwest Scotland. Uh, Bertie's getting um, quite a significant bit of work this weekend. Half shafts have been withdrawn, it's a differential change. And this is uh, the one that he's been running for a long time. This is a 941 uh, nine teeth on the driving pinion, 41 on the crown wheel. Uh, that gives 4.55, uh, which would be fine in a standard engine, uh, um, a nine, 950 cc. But Bertie's been upgraded to a 1098 some years ago, so managed to get hold of a 4.22, which is the next one down. So that lad about three or four mile an hour uh, for the same number of revs. Quite a straightforward job to fit. Um, this would probably the one that we're fitting is probably X Morris Minor, later Morris Minor. Um, bought it on eBay. One simply undoes the uh, hubs and draw back the uh, half shafts, draining the oil first. Um, this is the. The diff's now in, uh, just uh, it's absolutely straightforward, but there's one difference. Um, there's a, normally a filler plug on the side on the uh, standard A30, which doesn't feature, um, there it is there, uh, doesn't feature on that uh, Morris Minor one. So what's been done, um, simply uh, put a filler on the back uh, with a plug. You can fill them through the through the breather or even through the axle tube I think it's a litre it takes I actually set this a little bit lower because I don't like to run uh, to the, the full depth um, because if you park at an angle with rather tired oil seals you get a situation like this where you get leakage it can contaminate the the brake shoes and I've found after a couple of hundred classics uh, and, 50 years of experience with them that running a little low and keeping a close eye on any loss making sure it's always at least at that level uh, is, is, is good and you don't get brake contamination so uh, everything else is looking pretty good under here I've uh, been putting a bit of extra protection I put lanolin on um, cut with white spirit and then sometimes follow up in some areas with grease as well but delighted um, with the overall condition. Those of you who have got rusty A35s and A30s that are heroically building an area like this, which is a complicated box section where the um, spring is supported and equally at the rear, will appreciate just how solid this car is. Um, mechanics are, are really quite a delight to work on. This is uh, an interesting system. You've got a second uh, slave cylinder at the back here that uh, forces the mechanical uh, lever set up with rods to come forward when the hydraulics are pressurized but otherwise works simply as a, as a handbrake lever as well and the adjustment of that's quite straightforward um, so yeah the sills are generally okay there's a little bit of problem at this jacking point I'm going to fix later but it's not pressing at the moment uh, so you can see it's been pretty well protected over the years. It's still got the original smooth case uh, gearbox, which would be originally, I think, intended for an 803cc or maybe a, a 950. Certainly not the uh, 1098 that's now in it. Uh, it's had a, I don't think you can see in there, it's had a new clutch. Um, it's had new... Um, track rods, brakes have all been rebuilt inside, new hoses, so everything's pretty good. Usual oil leaks, of course, um, all fairly good structurally here as well, where it matters, all the suspension points. Got a little bit of rust up there to deal with, ditto that side, but well away from being a structural issue. So. The wheels are all off at the moment because they're getting painted to the correct um, 
sort of uh, creamy white with a touch of yellow in it. So yeah, it's all pretty good under there. Uh, you've got your brake adjustment through there with a screwdriver. Two places on the front, one at the back. But uh, no, for a, a blind auction by um, Bertie has really been a bit of a delight actually. And it's fun upgrading. It's sort of a running restoration really. So hopefully I'll be out later today. This won't take long now, I've got to this stage.